Okay, so that works super. I was thirsty, so I'm gonna check if that works with my camera as well. So let's bear with me. Whoa! Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Inezalea, and today I will be showing you how to be Spider Man. Alright, so let's see how I made this effect. In this video, I will show you both how I made the bottle grab and the camera grab. Spoiler alert, the camera grab is the easiest one. First of all, you need to have a video where you act like you grab something with the spider web. Next, in that same video, you have a friend grab that item and hand it over to you so you look as still as possible with as little movement as possible. Act like you just own superhuman abilities and grab the item with the spider web. I did make one mistake recording this video, and that was that I recorded everything in the automatic camera settings from my GH5S, uh, which is pretty good, but anyway, if you're gonna move in front of the camera, the white balance is gonna change a little bit, the aperture, and just make sure you don't do the same mistake as I did, record everything 100% manual, so set your f-stop, ISO, aperture, and very importantly, your white balance completely manually, so you don't have any flickering or color differences within your shot. Otherwise, you will notice lighting conditions will change, and that's a lot of work to work around on. Also, try to shoot this in a constant light location, for example, indoors. If you're outdoors and there are many moving clouds, the light is gonna change constantly, so really try to avoid these kind of situations, because light is gonna get all over the place, and if you cut in between your video, you're really going to notice the difference here. All right, once you have recorded everything, it's time to open up Adobe After Effects and import your video file. You can download my video file with the link in the description and the spider web image as well. I will also show you how to make one of your own as well, so let's open Adobe Photoshop first for the spider web. In Photoshop, I choose a white canvas with a transparent background, then I created a new layer and made this layer black and put it below the transparent layer, just as a reference image so I will be able to see what I'm going to create. Then select the transparent layer and click on the brush tool. Make it pretty small and draw a white spider web somewhat like this. Once you are satisfied with the result, you can delete the black background layer and save it as a PNG file. It doesn't have to look perfect because we will use a ton of motion blur to hide the imperfections. Import that in Adobe After Effects. Then drag your video on a new composition icon. Find a frame where you start your spider grab act and move forwards 10 frames. This is going to be the animation duration. Then go to Edit, Split Layer, or Ctrl Shift D to split the layer. Then let your friend pass the item and find a start frame where you act like you just grabbed it. Trim the layer to that start frame and drag it at the end of the other layer. Now we want the frozen frame of the desk without the bottle in the shot. This is called a clean plate. Duplicate your second layer and right click freeze frame. Now this layer is just a photo of our desk without the bottle. I will hide this layer for now. Rename the layers you already have to keep everything organized and clear because you can get pretty tricky with all the same names. Next, duplicate your first layer. We're going to use the same freeze frame effect on this one. This time to have a photo of the bottle on the desk. Select that layer and pick the pen tool, draw a rough mask around the bottle so we can keep only the bottle and it doesn't have to be perfect as well. Shorten this layer to the amount of time you want to do the animation. I recommend somewhere around 10 frames. Drag the clean plate layer below the bottle layer and make it visible. Make a mask around the area that the bottle was at and then feather the mask to make it more subtle. Shorten the layer until the bottle animation starts and then I animated the opacity in because otherwise the transition would be too abrupt. Then I will select my frozen bottle layer and move the anchor point to the center of the bottle. Now we can animate the scale, rotation and position of that bottle layer. Start with keyframes at the beginning and then at the end, 10 frames forward, animate the bottle exactly like the bottle in my hand. Trim the last frame of this layer so the last position is the actual real bottle in my hand. Then we will enable motion blur for the frozen bottle layer and enable motion blur for the composition as well. As you can see, my scene colors are very different from lighting because I recorded everything automatic. Don't be as stupid as me and record everything in manual again. It's really important to do it like that. I'm going to quickly correct my colors to match it a little bit better. Okay, so now we are ready to import the spider web element we made in Photoshop. Drag it into your composition and also move the anchor point to the start of the web. Move the web into place by scaling, positioning and rotating it. Then I'm going to finalize the design of the web a little bit more to make it a little more realistic. 
I'm going to add a roughen edges effect and play around with the settings until I'm satisfied. This will roughen up the web a little bit more, make it more organic. And then I'm going to apply a turbulent noise effect to give it a little bit more contrast and texture. I also lower the opacity to something like 80 or 90 to make it blend a little bit better with the scene colors. Then make a keyframe for the scale at the moment it should be grabbing the bottle. Move 3 or 4 keyframes backwards and set the scale to 0 and after the grab also set the scale again to 0. So now we have that grab animation. Play around with the easy ease settings to make the animations look a lot smoother. After my testing I found that the end shouldn't have a smooth animation, just only when it grabs and it takes that bottle it should go slowly and ramp up in speed. That way it looks somewhat kind of elastic. Do this as well for the bottle animation when it flies towards me. Also enable the motion blur for the spider web element and now create a new solid black layer. This we will use as a rotoscope mat for my hand so we can hide the spider web behind it. We will disable this layer and put it on top of the spider web element layer. Grab your pen tool and draw a mask around my hand so we can hide the start of the spider web and make it look like I'm actually shooting it. Animate the path of the mask so it follows my hand. Now set the spider web element to alpha inverted mat. As this alpha is on top of that layer, it will use that as a reference. Review the shot and adjust the timing where needed. I also applied a mesh warp effect with a few less columns and rows and added a keyframe for the distortion map in the beginning of the spiderweb animation. I will animate that mesh warp over time so it looks like the spiderweb is actually organic and this will make everything look so much more realistic. And there we go, we have ourselves a nice spider web grab. To finalize this shot, you could render it out, bring it in Adobe Premiere Pro and apply a camera shake preset. We actually have a camera shake preset pack which contains a lot of variated shakes of real handheld camera shake movement. When you apply this preset on your shot, you will have more movement in the camera motion and this will make it instantly look like your shot is much more realistic. I didn't do this in my original video because I placed my camera on a tripod and this wouldn't be logical, although it would have looked a lot better with a camera shake applied to it to hide all the imperfections. And it makes the professionalism of this shot instantly higher. You can also grade your video with one of our lids that you can get also on our website. I'll put all the links in the description so you know where to find everything. All right, so now let's have a look on how I did the camera grab animation. It's a lot easier than the first animation we just did. Basically, everything is the same, but easier because we can do some cut transition magic. I find a spot where I start my animation and then I make a marker on my layer so I know where that is. Now import the spider web grab again, copy the effects we applied on the first one to make it more realistic and more kind of contrasty. Then lower the opacity again and change the anchor point to the beginning again. Basically the same workflow. Then turn your layer in a 3D layer now and we're going to rotate the Z axis in the direction so it looks like the spider web is shooting into the camera. Now create a keyframe for the scale again at that position where it should actually grab your camera and then move back in time again a few frames and then set another keyframe, set this one to zero. We have a nice animation effect. Again, play with the easy ease curves to get a smooth transition and then apply a mesh warp effect, lower the rows and columns and animate the distortion mesh again. Here you will get a elastic animation effect. Then from the second the spider web is touching the edge of the canvas, I move the anchor point of my footage to the center of my face, then I animate animated my footage layer to scale up super close to my face. Then I enabled motion blur to hide all the imperfections and cut away the last keyframe. So each frame is in heavy motion blur and you won't see any kind of detail. For the spider web motion blur, this won't work this time because we actually stay in the same spot. So we will have to fade that using a directional blur set to 90 degrees and animate it from 0 to 100 once the scale of the footage starts. Trim the layers at the end of the spiderweb animation and find another spot in your footage where you grab the camera. Again here a friend gave me the camera, placed it in my hand and I shake the camera pretty well to act like I grabbed it. And this is a perfect way to hide all the imperfections. So just trim to the start of the shake when I have the camera in my hand and place that after the spider grab animation. Because everything goes so fast it immediately looks a lot more realistic. All you could do to make it even better is to speed up the first part of the video so the shake happens even faster. This is also a neat trick you could do in the first animation is to speed up a little part of that next animation. So when I grab the bottle to speed up this process to make it more like a shock effect. 
All right, so that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give this video a like. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more and definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers, motion graphics artists, and much more. Hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.